Hello! Hi. Welcome back to Mad's Tea Party. I am Madison and this is Haley. She's I, joining me today. I am Haley and I am joining you today. As usual, I don't like tea, so I will be drinking water. <laughs> so today we're gonna do something fun and new and different and we're gonna be hosting our own Disney World Awards. Ah. So Haley and I put together some categories. Yeah, like different just like rides throughout like Disney World itself, like not like park specific, just like all the rides that we could like think of for like these categories, like Disney World wide. Disney. Worldwide. So we put together the nominees and the categories. I'll tell you the categories and the nominees as we get to them and I'll explain what each category means and what qualifies for that category but we have not discussed winners. So we're kind of going to be debating that a bit. I don't even know if we'll come to conclusions on some of them, but- Probably not. No. We usually have very differing opinions <laughs> we're gonna, on these We're going to fight, but it's okay. <laughs> so let us know if you agree with our nominations or our winners down below. If you disagree, let us know what you would nominate and have win the category. In my handy dandy notebook here, is that a Blue's Clues thing? Handy Dandy Notebook? I feel like it- no, Handy Dandy Clue? No, I feel like it's Handy Dandy Notebook. I feel like I should know this because I like grew up absolutely obsessed with Blue's Clues. He had a little sketch pad that he just like flipped over. He'd be like, it's the Handy Dandy Notebook. I think you're right. Okay, well, I just referenced Blue's Clues. So our first category today is Best Dark Ride. Yay. So we talked about Best Dark Ride would be it has to be completely indoors no outdoors you have to be in a vehicle that moves throughout the ride uh so omni mover single vehicle trackless doesn't matter they're all qualifiers okay okay would you like to announce the nominees for best I dark ride i would okay <clears throat> and the nominees for best dark rides are haunted mansion Woo! Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Woo! Rise of the Resistance, Woo! Dinosaur, Woo! and Spaceship Earth. Woo! Okay. So what Let's would be debate? Yeah. Is These are also be... just like opinions, not like fact or anything. Yeah. I also Haley has not been on Rise of the Resistance. I've yet, never been on so... Rise of the Resistance. <clears throat> Otherwise, that probably would be my top pick. I've just never been on it, so I can't really say yeah. whether or not I like it more than the others because so. I feel like that's not really fair. She can't pick Rise because she hasn't been on it. I have been on it. It's not my favorite out of the ones on this list, but objectively, I know it's the best. I think my first one that I just, I'm gonna just knock it out personally is Runaway Railway. Oh, uh, that you don't like? I think it's the weakest out of the five. I'm just gonna. Yeah, you, you can knock out Rise because that's like. Unfortunately, I have to knock out Rise. Well, since you haven't been on it, I'll knock it out too. And I don't think it's my personal favorite out of the ones on the list. So I, I think we're gonna agree on personal favorite for this one. Yeah, it's Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yeah, it's Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Clearly, it's Haunted Mansion. <laughs> it, obviously, it's not like the best ride out of those. It's just like our personal favorite. Yeah. So. All right. Haunted Easy. Mansion gets the, the Disney award. I will say, I guess Spaceship Earth would be close for me. I really like Spaceship Earth. It's just nice and like, it's fun. And like, we love our scientific queen at the end. Our scientific, yes. Can we talk about her for a second? I think we can. What a queen. This is in like, I'm assuming the 1970s based on her hairstyle, mm -hmm. but like, we have a female person of color who is a scientist in the 1970s. That's, yeah, and a that's queen. hard to beat. A queen. <laughs> Moving on, I guess, to our next category, best boat ride. So this is any ride that takes place in a boat. The vehicle is a boat and you're moving through water. Yes, and I guess a boat could be considered anything that keeps you afloat on the water. Oh, because technically I guess, the log... I guess Splash Mountain loses. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle Cruise would lose too. It is isn't another one, just not this one. Well, it, it technically does qualify for this category, but we didn't nominate it. Oops. We forgot. Yeah, we forgot that it, it isn't another one. <laughs> oh, we never did put the teacups back in. 
Mm. It's fine. Uh, the Mad Tea Party will not be nominated. Thank you. Aww. I know everybody's super upset that the Mad Tea Party is not the best ride at Disney World, but whatever. I, I know that that's what my channel is named after, but I forgot. <laughs> Fake fan. And the nominees for best boat ride are Pirates of the Caribbean, Woo! Frozen, Woo! Splash Mountain, Woo! Grand Fiesta Tour, Woo! Navi River Journey. Woo! And yes, that That's is it. five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had There's five, five in each tour. category. Navi River Journey is out, right? That's yeah. not the winner. It's pretty. I, I like that ride a lot. I really do. But out of the ones that we have, yeah. Yeah. See, my gut says Pirates is the winner, but then every time I go on Pirates, I get like scared by the water in the cannonball oh. scene. Like I literally sit there and I don't want to get soaked on Pirates. So I, I literally like will pull out my poncho and just be like, oh, fair. And well, that's also a negative point for Frozen. I, I think Frozen is also not my winner. Because of the animatronics? The animatronics and the fact that you just get wet randomly at the end. Well, you get wet on Splash too. What does that leave? Grand Fiesta Tour. <laughs> Which like, <laughs> it breaks my Donald Duck 3 Caballero loving heart, but no. I know that it's not the best. Well, Splash is meant those. to be a water ride. Pirates is just a boat ride and then yeah. you just get wet even when you're not expecting it. Out of the ones that we have, I think I'm gonna say Pirates would be my favorite for best like boat ride. I think so too. I think Splash Mountain's probably a second for me. Yeah. Pirates. Okay, so pirates. Okay. Okay. Our next category is best roller coaster. Mm. I feel like this is fairly easy to qualify for. A ride is either a roller coaster or it's not a roller coaster. Yeah. So best roller coaster. And the nominees are Spaceship Earth. What? No, not Spaceship Earth. Space <laughs> You will, okay, she abbreviated it. It says space. So I was just, my brain went to Spaceship Earth. Space Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Expedition Everest. Yeah. Big Tunda Mountain. Railroad. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and Roller Coaster. Yay. And Mine Train. Yeah. <laughs> I think my brain's done operating for the day. Yeah. I, I know what my answer is. I know my clear winner here. My clear winner is going to be Expedition Everest. Yep, that was mine too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everest. I really like Space Mountain. And honestly, I would say... Okay, well, out of Mind Train and Big Thunder, I would choose Big Thunder. I think. Yeah, absolutely. But, and Space Mountain is probably my second favorite, but Expedition Everest is definitely my first. Everest is so good. It, it really would, is. It would be a crime for it not to win. Plus, the fact that, like, when you're going up, you can look back and just, like see Orlando and like the mm -hmm. parks like that's so cool you, you pick out each individual one yeah exactly yeah, mm -hmm. so expedition Everest, Everest. Best coaster yeah for sure our next category is best simulator um, there's not that many simulators in Disney World there's not as many as I thought I thought Same. there were more than there are and honestly I think I was just thinking about Universal <laughs> Disney's got a fair amount of them but there were only five so every single simulator that made it maybe, onto the list. Yeah, maybe we forgot one, I don't know. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's five of them that we know of and they're all on the list. Nominations for best simulator ride. Soarin'. Yay. Flight of Passage. Yay. Star Tours. Yay. Smuggler's Run. Yay. And Mission Space. Yay. No. <laughs> I can't I'm even, not even gonna pretend. I can't even pretend to cheer for Mission <laughs> Space. Okay, personally, I'm gonna say Soarin'. I, I prefer Flight of Passage. I know that a lot of people are gonna prefer Flight of Passage, and honestly, that's probably the right answer. I like Soren. For me, it's either Flight of Passage or Smuggler's Run. Soren is good, but I feel like it doesn't really simulate a lot of actual movement, you know? Just like Patrick. Like, I don't feel like I'm there when I'm on Soren. I feel like I'm watching a cool movie and then I'm here. I don't know, it depends on where you sit. I don't I mean, really feel like I'm there when the I'm on Flight I've, of Passage. I feel like I'm there on Flight of Passage more than I do on Soren. I like Chief Flight of Human Patrick. Which, I mean, I guess if I were going off of that, I could technically say that I like Star Tours because he's a little robot right before you, like, go inside. You know what I'm talking about? To, like, get your glasses, that little robot that's sitting there? Yeah. Yeah, it's Chief Flight of Human Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love Soren. I love the music for Soren. Yeah, but Flight of Passage. I'm not saying it's not a good ride. It's fantastic, and I enjoy myself every single time. But I've just never had that, like, wow factor on Flight of Passage that everybody else seems to have had. I have had it on Soren, though. I really like that ride. And they're both good. Like, it, obviously, they're both excellent rides. All right, we have our first tie. Our next category is Best Classic. This one, I feel like, isn't really based off of anything except for, like, nostalgia. And, like, when you think of these rides, I feel like... Not to everybody, but to us, and we made the list, so to us, I would say that these are like the epitome of like the classicness of Disney. Yeah, like when you think about these rides, they make you just get like the warm and fuzzies. Yes, exactly. And you're just like, Disney. Yeah. Here we go. Best classic attraction. Peter Pan's Flight, um, Small World, Dumbo, Jungle Cruise, and the Carousel, like the one in Fantasyland. I'm going to say personally Peter Pan's flight because Peter Pan, like when I was younger, is kind of what started like my big Disney like obsession. I had like all these like little plushies because my mom used to work at the Disney store before I was born. And so she got me like a whole bunch of like a set of like the Peter Pan like beanie babies, I guess is oh, what you cute. would like call them. And I had them like all throughout childhood. Like I watched Peter Pan all the time. I don't remember a lot from my first Disney trip, but I remember Peter Pan's flight like super well. So for me personally, my like best classic ride would be Peter Pan's flight just because for me, that's the epitome of like where my Disney obsession kind of started. That's an excellent reason to choose Peter Pan's flight. Obviously the most classic per se is Dumbo, right? Like it's it's in every park around the world. Like obviously Dumbo is the correct answer here. But if we're just going on opinion based, I think Small World. Yeah. Because I, I love the history of Small World. I think it's so interesting. I love the aesthetic of it. And the song is just so nostalgic and I know it annoys some people but I think it's fun but again when you think of that song it's just like oh Disney yeah you you so. can't think of anything else when you when you think about small world you're not just like oh yeah the 1964 world's fair <laughs> maybe yeah. you are maybe you're weird yeah like you like 75% of the time some random reason to like something next category is the best show attraction not like theatrical stage show but the the type of show that runs on a constant loop. it's considered an attraction but it's in a show environment like theater or like you like sit down and like watch it versus like you're actually like writing something i feel like this description is confusing but once we list them out you'll understand and the nominees are tiki room country bears carousel of progress american adventure and philhar magic so you go first. Tiki room. T easy. Yep. <laughs> Not even, I would hate to be one of the cast members who works in the Enchanted Tiki Room because you just have to watch it on loop and honestly, as much it's as I love it. It's not special at that point. I would die. I would want to die. Yes. <laughs> this one's actually kind of hard for me, believe it or not. I'm gonna go ahead and count out Country Bears and Carousel of Progress. Okay, that's fair. I really like the Tiki Room. I really like, I love the Tiki Room. Like, my goal is my bird. But like, film her magic. Donald, it's just so cute. I had never done the American Adventure before a couple of weeks ago. But I was walking around Epcot by myself and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the American Adventure. And I did it. And I really liked it. Yeah, it's and a fun I've show. done it like three times since then. I really, really like the American Adventure. However, I'm not gonna put it above Philhar Magic. In no, I was like, if the American Adventure is your top choice, then I don't know you anymore. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Philhar Magic and Tiki Room, like having to choose between the two, is getting me. I'm gonna choose Tiki Room, and here's why. I absolutely love Philhar Magic but the 3D glasses can be annoying sometimes. I feel like people always sing along in Magic too, and that's irritating. I've never heard anybody sing along, but oh, for me, it's the glasses because I feel like I just have a really oddly shaped nose or maybe just like eyes that are like 
not good for 3D glasses. I don't know. Maybe it's just my face, but they like never ever sit the way they're supposed to. So I never get the full 3D experience. It's like, I see like what I'm supposed to see. And then like, it's like reflection. Does that make sense? A little? I don't know. I'm just, I've never seen anything 3D, like I guess the way that I'm supposed to. So for that reason, I'm going to say Tiki Room because you don't have to worry about any 3D glasses. You just get to watch the show. Well, Tiki Room's also good because Walt worked on it. Yeah, and also it's just like, it's so fun. Mm -hmm. It is just so fun and tropical and I love it. And honestly, the Tiki Room is full of some bops. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna say Tiki Room for that one, even though I really, really, really like Philhar Magic. Okay, I'm surprised by that. I thought you were gonna pick Philhar Magic. I really would have if it weren't for the 3D glasses. Okay. Our next category is Best Miscellaneous Attraction. We realized that there were some attractions that just didn't fit into any of these categories. So we decided that for the rides that didn't fit into these categories, we wanted to have a miscellaneous category so that they could get a chance to win. And the nominees are... Tower of Terror, The Safari, Test Track, and People Mover. There's not five, there's only four. We could really only think of four. Uh, for me, this one's pretty easy. I would say Tower of Terror. Yeah. Cool. Easy. <laughs> All right. I, I love the others. The Safari's great. People Mover is one of my favorite rides at Disney World, even though it's like small and silly i love it the other test one. track is oh, test cool track. but i feel like you kind of have to be in the mood for it test track is actually my favorite ride at epcot but uh, okay well sorry <laughs> you only like grand fiesta twerk is donald i didn't say that it was my favorite ride at epcot it is though yeah a t uh tot tower of terror tot tot our next category is best stage show. Obviously, none of these are happening right now because of coronavirus, but we're hoping that they're gonna bring them back. So we decided to create a category for the shows. This one is also a bit specific because it doesn't include any of the regular attraction shows like Tiki Room Country Bears. It also doesn't include any parades. It also doesn't include any nighttime spectaculars. Like strictly just stage shows with live performers. This one actually has six nominees because we could not eliminate one. Yeah. We could not agree to eliminate one. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, Finding Nemo the Musical, um, Festival of the Lion King, um, For the First Time in Forever, A Frozen Sing-Along Celebration. We gave the whole full title. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair, and then the Andy Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. We're gonna fight on this one, I know we yes. are. Yes, here's the thing. I know which one is objectively the best, but I have my favorite, and that is going to be Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair. Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair is an essential thing for me when I go to the parks, and I really hope they bring it back one day. I just love it, and it makes me very, very, very happy. And the fact that, like, the Tangled section and, like, Donald and Daisy is like together like perfect. Oh, yeah, of course. That's your answer then I didn't even, I, I always forget about that my objective What is the best show on this list? My objective answer is Festival of the Lion oh, King. Oh, again, I, I have never seen Festival of the Lion King, so I really can't say anything about oh, it. Oh, okay. But I know that everyone says it's amazing and I would love to see it one day. I just haven't. Finding Nemo the Musical <laughs> is my favorite stage show at Disney because live singers, first of all, uh, two, original music, which is all good. It's all good. Yeah. The only song I don't like is like Nemo's song is like, where's my dear? <laughs> and then I don't yeah. like the fish with the scar, the song that he sings to Nemo. Do you know what I'm talking like, about? Like together. We yeah, I don't together. like that song. Oh, I don't like that song. I think it's cute. The Big Blue World song, that's good. Dory song. Just keep swimming. Let me play Dory. I want to play Dory. Cr ooh, ooh. Crush. Whoa. Crush. Yeah. Literally, I don't even know how they find that many tenors <laughs> to sing Crush's part because that's high. Mm -hmm. Like, that's high for anybody. And honestly, and like, no shade here, but like, I've definitely heard like, sometimes Crush sounds better than other times. 
Sometimes, really? sometimes crush is doing a little bit better that day. I don't know. I've, I've always had good crushes. I think that they're always very talented in my experience. You mean crush is very talented. You, you give me the character integrity thing here. It's a musical crush. I, I never saw it for like a good long time. I saw it when I was like 10 and then I didn't see it again until I was like 17. And I remembered it being good. I remembered Crush's song and that was all I remembered. I, I just remembered it being really catchy, but like I went back and I saw it and it kind of like blew my mind because I love musical theater. Yep. And I love that show and I really want them to bring it back because I miss it. Every time I go to Animal Kingdom, I miss it. It's just like Animal Kingdom is fun and all, but I feel like the shows were like one of those things that really just like set it in stone. It was like, yeah, this is part of Animal Kingdom. This is part of what you get when you come to Animal Kingdom. I don't know. For me personally, all the other parks have their own little things that even without the characters in the show still make it great. But Animal Kingdom, I feel like really needs those things. I feel like Animal Kingdom, really, when I'm thinking about shows, it only has two shows that really stand out to me because the bird show I've never really loved. Like, it's good, but it's not great. And I think that Festival of the Lion King and Finding Nemo the Musical are, like, greatly missed. But who could you even meet at Animal Kingdom besides Donald and Mickey? I'm not saying that, like, they, like, made, like, make or break Animal Kingdom necessarily. But I do think that like they add to it just enough to like take it up a little bit, you know? Yeah, I guess. Like well, if that makes sense. Shows and characters are super important for you. But I, I'm just I've saying. I've always been a ride person. I think Animal Kingdom is definitely like a one day park, especially since they don't have a nighttime show anymore, yeah, which they've for sure. said that's not coming back at all. It's not like Rivers of Light is good, but thank you for attending the Disney World Awards. Uh, let us know if you agree with our decisions, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today, Haley. You're welcome. For the, the Disney World Awards. I really had to, like, go out of my way to be here today. Um, I had to travel all the way from my side of the room. <laughs> it was a lot of work. So that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!